What up, what up? Thank you for listening to Compass Unfiltered. I am your host, Checo. Is your co host, Noe. What up? Yes, sir. Today, we're talking about los pinches encerrones. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is not no, what we're talking about. No, no, no. no. We're, we're well, talking, kind of, kind of. Kind right? of a little bit, man. Hey. We're going to touch up on them. Yeah, for sure. Eso sí. Eso sí. That's for sure, bro. Uh, we used to be able to hang, right, bro? Kind yeah, of sometimes? Yeah, I, I think we were pretty good at it. Yeah, for yeah, sure. But now? No. Nah, we can't hang like that. That no more, that recovery bro. mode hits quick, bro, and and it lasts long. Yeah, bro. Hey, well, two three days of bed and then two three months of recovery. Suero y todo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Well, yeah. Aguita, suero, it's Gatorade. all water now, bro. It's all water now. Um, we're talking about drug addiction, alcohol abuse, a little bit of mental in there. Este, and our guest today is gonna help us talk about that, man. My brother. Jose, welcome to Compass Unfiltered. Uh, pues mucho gusto por tenerme. Uh, uh, compadre, what's up, what's up? Checo, I know you guys from, yeah, Checo de la Banda. Check, uh, compadre también, cuando yo las, las tocadas. Uh, but uh, I wanted to talk about what is addiction, you know. It could be anything. It could be addiction to your phone, addiction to food. And for me, what it was, was um, alcohol, you know. Uh, I had an addiction to alcohol, which was alcoholism. Uh, I wasn't always a, uh, a person that liked alcohol, you know, growing up. But I want to talk about lo que es, uh, my upbringing, uh, when I had the, the initial problem of drinking, and then right now where I am now, where I'm, I'm in recovery. And uh, I mean, I'm not a finished product, but uh, I got to work at it every day. You know, and Same one. So. And it, I feel like it's a tough subject, uh, I mean, for you, obviously, and, and for everybody that's kind of dealing with any type of addiction, right? Uh, just to open up and talk about it. So we definitely appreciate you coming on to Compass Unfiltered and sharing your ex personal experience with it um, and also the progress that, you, that you've that you done, you know, yeah. within your life, you know, to recover from alcoholism and anything else that came with it, you know. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely very proud of you on, on where you're at now, bro. Yeah, but uh, was, thank uh, you for, for coming on. Look, look it's, uh, I don't want to, like, it's not about me, like, oh, look at me, you know, I... What, look what I did to family, to friends, or whatever, you know, like, mm -hmm. I want, like, porque when I was going through my stuff, I, there was nobody that I knew that was, that went to meetings, or got help, or went to rehabs, you know, like, you, well, everybody that you were hanging out with were yeah. people yeah. that Party. could hang, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not us, no, so, people that can hang with us. So, look, okay, like, I, w I want, if somebody is listening or watching, que, que they take something from me, and then in their own lives, like, you know what, maybe... I have a problem, or maybe my dad or my friends or somebody, uh -huh. somebody they know. Like, porque I, there's a lot of people like that that they're not diagnosed right, or they're just living life, and then they're like saying pedan, and then do a bunch of crazy stuff, and then paran, and then they do it over again, you know. And that's a, it's a cycle that I was in. So hopefully somebody takes something from what I have from to this say. episode, mm -hmm. right? For sure, man. Yeah, it's because I feel like everybody has their limits, right? And we have those those days, those nights, que nos, you know, we get we get fucked up, right? We get nos ponemos pedos o nos ponemos locos, whatever you're. Uh, <laughs> nos ponemos locos. <laughs> se ponen, se ponen. <laughs> Correction. Uh, nah, but yes. Yeah, That's so, the politically correct term. Yeah, se ponen. I started on that one too. <laughs> <laughs> politically correct term. Nos ponemos locos. Nah, yo no. Nah. nah. No, but, but you know what I mean, though. You know yeah, what I mean. We all sure. go. We all have limits, and we all go through stuff. And it's the definitely from what Jose is about to share. You know, I, I got my own experiences as well. It's like hopefully you guys can take something from this and be like, you know what, man, that that did happen to me, or I do go through that now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like maybe I should slow down. Maybe I, you know, maybe I know somebody. That and fucking, sometimes you're right at the at the point of like thinking you should slow down, and you don't, and that's when something bad happens, bro. Because I've had situations like that, and I can't really can't go back to it like exactly, but I, I can just thinking about it, bro. Like, you're always thinking, like, man, I should probably be slowing down, or man, I should probably not be doing this anymore. And as soon as you think that, and then you continue to do it, boom, something happens a DUI, or an arrest, or yeah, yeah. or something worse, you know, a, a freaking, you know, you hit somebody with drunk driving or something, you know what I mean? Like, whatever the case may be, but I feel like it's always the case. You always hear those stories, like, Man, I, I knew I shouldn't have, or I, I I was almost at the point of stopping, or like, I was quitting, and I boom, y algo pasa, you know. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys take something from this episode, you know, and, and learn from it. Yeah, for sure. Oh, 
Empezamos, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead, brother. All right, so uh, growing up, yo, like, I was an only child for, um, hasta que tenía... Hasta nine, que tuvo su mamá otro baby. Hasta que tuvo a los nueve. Let me help you out with that. <laughs> <laughs> so you were nine? Uh, yeah, I tenía nine. My brother was born. Okay. Uh, my, my dad would have family parties. Even when I had family parties, he would drink, you know, así. Pero more typical family, así cuando vas a, la, a visitar a la familia, y toman, and yeah, you know, they get tips and stuff. Uh, nunca hubo uh, like problems con my dad and my parents así que se peleaban over that like, but he was a, dr he was he a heavy a drinker or no no it was social it was more frequent it wasn't like the que se emborrachaba and que like oh man se emborrachaba otro papá or nothing like that it was just okay llegó el weekend invitó a los tíos a los primos and que había carne asada y ya se, se, pues ellos they would get tipsy and stuff like that um, yeah and entering like my teens tam también like I think my dad slowed down more because he, he started working more. Uh, I, I wasn't, I was never into, nunca me trajo during that time either. Like even when I was younger. When you were in high school? Yeah, I was like, okay. No, well, you, I, you used to play sports too, right? So yeah, I, I had uh, cross country, basketball. I, I was more, como, como I was more, uh, more of like a loner. Like, no tenía my brother at the time. So yo, I would play sports. Uh, me quedaba after school, do activities, como in elementary. And so you're a goody two shoes? Uh, casi, porque no. Oh, snap. Is that <laughs> bad or what? Uh, I'm not talking shit. It's not cool. I'm not talking shit. Cool. Cool. <laughs> no, pero era, era más. Era were you good at any other sports that you played? Uh, basketball? I don't, uh, I don't know if you remember. No, you were, yeah, he was in the basketball team. Yeah. He Look, pretty that's good. not what I asked. <laughs> oh, he, <laughs> we like, yeah, he made we it. We weren't that good. We were 0 14, but. <laughs> No, that, that well, was, you were you you played that, sports, that was, you were pretty decent. Yeah, that was probably my peak, like high school, you know. And yeah, after that, no. But uh, I was try. I, I would always try to involucrar me and stuff uh, in the school. Uh, yeah, in, in high school, yeah, towards the end, I think junior year, that's when we were like, hey, okay, I can meter nos acá en la en la música and this and that. And still then, I wasn't like, let's go play, let's go party afterwards, you know. No era. Mm -hmm. Porque todavía my mind, I didn't, that was introducing to that. <clears throat> so yeah, okay. We started playing, you know, tocar, and not, nada de, de... De lo que era todavía. Yeah, todavía no, like... You still... Sí, pero sí, like, once in a while, like, I would go, was it, like, family members, y que sacaba una botella, let's try, let's try, and then you drink it, you get a little buzz, pero como que you're still new, y te da miedo, so you kind of hold back. Uh, I think cuando... When, for me, like, that I can remember that my first, like, peda, like, I went, went to Mexico, you know, and I, yeah, they don't card you for, for liquor. So, yeah, I compré una botella, una tindita, and I drank it by myself. And I was like, Who were you with? You were, nobody was with no, you? No, estaba mi, estaba mi mom. We went to visit uh, una, mi grandma from my mom's side. Uh-huh. Estaba mis primos from, like, ten, Texas. Vine, luego, it was during... How old were you then? Ooh, probably like I don't know, 16, 16, 16 years 17. old. So you're in Mexico and you go and buy a yeah. bottle and you polish it by yourself, bro? Me, 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 me acuerdo era una botella de, de Bacardi. Cause that, yeah. Brother, what were you doing, man? That's that's yeah. how you ended up. How you and then in Mexico, you're, you're drinking, drinking Bacardi. Oh, <laughs> era, era la. Like, Yo, le, le, le dije a mi mamá, hey, can, can, I, can I buy it? And I was like, I want to try it. And la, me la lleva, le, we took it back to the rancho and I was like drinking it with pop. Eh. And they let their, your mom was like, yeah, yeah that's yeah, fine. Yeah, like, that's, that's me, man. Your dad's not here. Your dad's stuck on su mamá en el otro rancho. Like, and, it's bro. cool. Y me la empecé a tomar. And, uh, was it good? I mean, I remember Ricardi, bro, for uh, day parties and stuff like that. They were like, yeah. I don't remember. No, just because it's... But you know what? At that time when... All the shots were fine, bro. Like, I don't remember haciendo caras a los shots. You? Yeah, yeah. Day okay. parties, no, bro. I, I thought I, we was lit. I, I mixed it up with, with pop, so I was like... It tasted okay. Hey, what made you pick that, though? I know that's okay. just, just random no, question, no, guys. Okay. It's a common name. Oh, okay. It was, that so was like, more of the name. It wasn't you're because like, of... Cardi, I'll oh, take you, it. I yeah. wasn't, too. I wasn't drinking. Oh, we got to help you so with that. So I said, yeah, yeah, me la... Me la, me, la, me la tomé yo solo, like, throughout la tarde. Y me emborraché. I can remember that was my first, like... Time came in Boracay. You were a hangover or no? No, nah, no, no. You were too young? Muy morrido, Your body recovers Pero quick me, then. Me acuerdo que iba, we were like walking around and estaba bien, bien alegre and I was talking to everybody. Como que me dio like a, this courage. Like, uh, I, I like the feeling. Because you were, like you're saying, you were a loner, you were quiet. Yeah, era más reservado, más bien. Okay. So, not uh, quiet. Definitely not quiet, right? Not right. Yeah, no. Pero, <laughs> and, lo, lo que me acuerdo más like throughout the years era eso que... Uh, 
me gustó that feeling, you know? Like, I, mm. I would always remember that, that feeling of uh, just the, the boost it gave me, you know? So, yeah, we came back, you know? That's when we started the, the, the music. I think we said that already. Yeah. Um, but there was times que así, like, like let's get a, let's get a bottle or let's get a así no un doce but it was just to like drink. socialize yeah and it wasn't like oh let's go get it to um, 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 more social drinking yeah y así empezó like little by little and I think the, the more I got like the confidence of que yo nos a tocar afuera and then being out more more ma, más free que salía más, más tarde que yo no salía tan tarde cuando andaba así just with the guys with the friends uh, y luego ya, digo, con, con el tiempo, we would drink. Like, I, no, it was more my, like, my, la, la, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo Personality? Or no, what? no, like, que, que se me antojaba más, like, oh, let's, let's, let's. The desire to drink. Yeah, que un día, let's, after, the, after this gig, let's go buy a, algo to drink and to actually stay up a little bit longer, you know, like, que, como to las party. Dos, yeah, to party. So, the, the more where I started doing that, como que it became a frequent thing. So, ya llegaban meses el weekend, and uh, que, que, que on Friday we're not doing anything, let's go, let's go, pra go play or whatever, or, or si no iban a tocar, come to my house, or let's go to your house, and alguien compraba una botella, y así... Así get, empezó el yeah. desorden. Now, at what point do you feel like, so, that happened at 16, you come back, you are playing in these bands or groups, yeah. you guys are drinking, um, at what point does it get to the all right? Like I'm drinking heavily regularly. At what age was, was that? Was that more? I think it was more of a gradual thing. Uh, the old, when when my, my my early twenties, it was more getting drunk. I uh, see once or twice a month. You know, like but that, I mean, that, was, that, say, that sounds like more like a regular yeah, thing, right? Yeah, because was, I feel like at yeah. our twenties, like we were definitely just drinking, probably, probably four, more than four once, times yeah, like, yeah. out of them. <laughs> Like, like every, every weekend. weekend, pretty much. <laughs> so to me, that sounds regular. Porque ya, cuando, I think once I started like, experimenting, como que I went quick, que, like, que I was like social drinking, and then from like a couple of week, a month, a uh, couple of days a month, and to like casi every weekend, you know, like just to drink, you know, go play and have fun. Uh, y me acuerdo que, uh, I think right before I left Cristalera, uh, era cuando. I was, uh, I, mean, I went to travel with this other band, and, and me gustó más el ambiente, and I think that's why, like, me, me salí, and I had those, those issues ahí, y, yeah, me fui para allá, y it was a different type of crowd, like, it, it was more towards the, no, it was Chicago, so, like, you could maybe, like, ellos tenían más experience at partying and whatever, so yo, like, Tan más, vi más vividos. Me gustó. Oh, es lame. <laughs> no, pero no lame. Pretty much, bro. But we I, I, know we have to ustedes. <laughs> I, I, I just think it was the, it was the, like, their surroundings, que their, their uh, the way they were brought up. Yeah. Their, their friends or whatever, they was different. Product from, of their environment. It was different than the suburbs. Mm -hmm. I, it, it, and that's where you grew up, in the burbs. Sí, era más tranquilo. Like, we were still, got, nos íbamos y nos empedábamos, pero acá era más different vibe. Me, me gustaba y luego y como más lo que era yeah era eso y la yeah hell sí, yeah sí, sí era <laughs> <laughs> compadre cálmese compa no se acelere no, just remembering <laughs> take a sip of water <laughs> no pero uh, it was like I don't know it, it, me, me gustó y luego it was more it was reserved como que me for me I, I tried to fit in so you know like let me go drink with them let me go do this. It, Whatever they did, you were down. Yeah, it was, so was, my question for you was going to be, uh, do you feel like you have, uh, and, and I don't even know if this is the proper term, but an ad addictive personality? See, uh, even to this day, like, if, if I do something and I like it, I'll, like, you uh, want to continue yeah. to do that. Like, right now, my addiction is coffee. Like, I, mean, I find a good well, coffee. I, I wouldn't <laughs> consider that an addiction. I love coffee myself, so... <laughs> But I see him like I don't know about that. I don't know. Nah, nah. <laughs> drink coffee. Well, he looks so he has a white hair, but no coffee. Ah, uh, I do have white hair. You don't think of it. But I, <laughs> I knew he was gonna come with a punchline, bro. So I had to get behind it. Compadre, don't mind us. This compas on filter. We're just talking shit. Ooh, yeah. No, you need. It's part of the show. Uh, okay, so yeah, with them, that's why I think I was introduced more. To the, to the drugs, you know, to uh, pistavanos, and then yeah, coke was introduced. 
I had tried it before joining them, but no, it wasn't uh, like a big thing for me. They didn't have good quality wherever you tried it first. I don't, I don't know where it was. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> tell then. But it was. These are some good questions, dude. Why are you guys frowning upon them? No, not good questions. No, no sabia, no sabia then. Oh. The, 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 Narcos uh, wasn't out yet. No, I think it was a uh, acquired taste. An acquired taste. taste. <clears throat> but con ellos sí, like pisteamos bien tarde. Luego, I would try that, and I was like, damn, like. I can hang longer. See, sí, and, and then también, uh, como dije, like the personality, I was, uh, there was a competitiveness too, porque like you're drinking with your buddies, like, ¿cuántas llevas, güey? And, you know, like. <laughs> what sí. type of people were you hanging with, dude? No, I, I, I He's funny. like, I run track, fool. Like, give me another beer. Give me another beer. <laughs> or uh, you're with your boys and they say, hey, you're babysitting your beer. And, oh, shit, I gotta. Yeah. But it was more like to keep up. To get uh, get go along, you know what, what they were doing. So yeah, I would do coke with them and drink more than I would normally drink. So, como que me empezó a gustar más, like without knowing, um, without knowing, yeah, yeah, without knowing, you you were becoming addicted. Yeah, me estaba me estaba gustando algo que <clears throat> I was starting to lose control of. Que if I wanted to stop. No, no podía tan fácil porque ya llegaba el weekend o llegaba el viernes, llegaba la noche y ya, like, you know, like, let's, let's go party, let's go do this, after practice, let's go that. Um, ya duré con ese grupo un ratillo, me metí con otro, and then I think when, con ellos, we used to practice, like, more during the week, we used to practice during the week, uh, play more, and now there was more opportunities to drink. So, llegaba el Tuesday, llevate un doce, y ya... Me quedaba picado y yo iba a la casa y me compraba otro, un seis on the way home, you know, porque decía, damn. On a Tuesday. Not, no, by no. yourself? Yeah. And I was so like, you're definitely still a loner, you feel, or no? But, but see, I, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Porque even when I would play, like, agarramos un, un seis, like, hey, para, más para, to loosen up, you know. And I think it. That's what we call it. <laughs> it, it <laughs> to loosen up. Like, I think it, it was more. It, the it, seis was for you. Ah. Uh, no? No. Oh, for everybody. How many people in the group? I mean... No, pues... Sí. What, kind of, what kind of shit is this? It's kind of cheap drink that you guys <laughs> No, pero sí, sí. Un seis y somos ocho. <laughs> no, pero, like, todos no, tom no, no tomaban. I'm just talking shit, bro. <laughs> Hasta me confundí. He's like, no, 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 no era para mí nomás. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero, like... Matín, también... Go, We're go, throwing curveballs uh, at uh, you, uh, aren't we? Ando para acá y para allá. <laughs> cuando, cuando... Even like to socialize, I mean, I think I felt I, I needed a little bit of a, uh, like a confidence booster. And for me, it was alcohol. It, even to, you have to car, to, cuando, cuando la gente que hablábamos, you know, a veces I was like, me, me trababan las palabras o. At this point, alcohol was your comfort. It, it helped me with a lot, you know, um, playing especially porque a veces I would get nervous on stage so antes me iba a la barra y me echaba una cerveza and just to like keep me cool keep me uh, así tranquilo uh, pero digo con este grupo we would like drink more and, and como que it became normal it became okay to drink during the week more like porque antes no tomaba así it was more strictly Friday or Saturday the weekend yeah even though it was still I was still drinking okay, a lot bro. I was still drinking a lot Thanks. Yeah, like drinking on a Monday. See, so, if I got off work, me compraba una caguamita, me tomaba, it was fine. Pero con ahí, like, it was more, it, it, me dio más confianza to let it be okay, you know, and... and For ahí, you to accept it. Like, yeah. I mean, it's cool, it's not Yeah, bad. if they're doing, I'm doing it, it's okay. Uh, now, at this point, were you waking up hang like with the hangover on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, uh, any yeah, random day yeah. hangover Porque or hungover or what is it? Yeah. Hungover. 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 Hungover was your hungry? Yeah, was, yeah, was hungry, angry. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's trying to get back now. No, but, uh, uh, but yeah, you would wake up hungover? <laughs> sí, era, era más pedas. Tocábamos y me, after the tocada, pedas segura. You know, y, y tocábamos Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday, a veces los lunes no iba a, tra a trabajar porque estaba, no llegaba a la casa o estaba todavía borracho. Uh, yeah, and was, then do you remember like any times where you were like heavily drinking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like long, like where it would go? You would last a whole week drinking or two weeks drinking, the, and like you didn't you didn't stop? No, during during that time it was just strictly the weekend. I see, and I mean, it would carry over on a Monday, but de que tomaba más, like, not más, pero tomaba. It was okay to have two, three beers on a Tuesday or on a Thursday, que fuera parte del weekend de lo que tomaba. 
Y así, and I would have these episodes where I would black out, even a tocar, and, and me quedaba al baile, and I would make a fool of myself. Y, y, and then, like, me amanecía crudo the next day, y blacked out, and I was like, damn, ¿cómo llegué? O, so, I mean, at, and at this point, to be blacking out, bro, like, you got to drink crazy heavy, yeah. like, yeah. I, I don't know the percentage of alcohol in your system at this time to black out, but... Uh, it, it differs on different people. But uh, at that point, you weren't like, man, I need to chill the fuck out. I was, I, there was times que se me hablaban, like, hey, bro, what the fuck are we doing? Uh, anoche. Y sí, me, 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 como que me daba una, what would you call it? Like, like a hot flash. Me ponía bien nervioso. I was like, holy crap. I'm like, ¿Qué what did I ¿Qué, do? ¿Qué hice? Like, and you try to find out, like, you would call, this, I would text people like, hey, what happened? Or, y sí me asustaba, and I would stop for like two, three weeks. Did you lose friends for situations like this, bro? Where you were like acting wild or disrespectful or like good friends of yours that you're like, damn, like I, I really messed up a friendship, you know, over some bullshit. Or, uh, yeah. me acuerdo, no, I think it was more relationships with con novias que, que tenía at time porque I would not like... You would pick alcohol over the relationship. Yeah, like me iba, hey, hay que salir aquí el weekend. Oh, pues, I'm gonna go play. O si no tenía tocada, agarraba una propósito just to go play and... Uh, post party. It was the, the main thing. It was partying. So me, it wasn't. I got, let's go get wasted. You know, it was just let's go party, let's go have a good time, and enjoy yourselves at the moment. But nunca pensé like future, like years later, what on, where I would end up. Pero see, the look when I look back, see, it, it was more relationships que que I would try to have with girls. Pues, you know, like when you're I young, hope, when I you're, hope young, when you're young, yeah. Well, he is a Cubs fan, so. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, they're going to kill us in the comments, bro. I'm sure there's a lot of oh, Cubs yeah. fans. No? Nah? No. Nah. We don't have that many followers? No. Nah. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> just Cubs. They suck now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they've sucked for a long time. And they won once. One, one in 100 years. Yeah. But it's cool. Uh, but, uh, I mean. Go one, at, Chico. At the, at the time. My my friends were the bands that I was with, you know. Right. So you know, I didn't socialize a lot with friends from high school as much as porque there was. You could in my twenties. I was in, in three bands and duraba like at least five, to three years with them. And so at that moment, my friends were my bandmates. You know that. Yo, would, and yo, like we like to drink, but I don't remember drinking with you all the time. Like I remember seeing you at Vitalis here and there, but. We did, did you pick and select the people that you party with based on like how heavy they did drugs or like if they were into doing drugs? Uh, I think that's kind of how it leaned. Yeah, like so. Theo, with uh, with that group that I was in, see, if I was gonna go party, I was like, hey, I will call that guy because I know he was he was like, gonna be down. Whoever it was, you know, there wasn't someone specific. <clears throat> but uh, like, okay, these guys they're gonna party like me. Okay, uh, como que. There's not like if I knew somebody that doesn't drink or does the things that I was doing at the time, I was gonna go party with them and do and or ask them, hey, you know somebody that got some stuff, right? Yeah, so it was more selective, selective friends that were gonna be down with whatever and, you and, were down and with, and in whatever bands I was in, there was probably somebody in there that would that had the same likes as I did, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. So I would try to hang out with those person. Yeah, uh, and no, you know what I'm asking, like. So, la mayoría del tiempo was just, I would play, digo, like the whole weekend, and there was no time to actually go to parties, you know, I never had a family. You had party. the party then. Yeah, I went to the party. Then. Here's another random question for you, bro, which you, maybe part of it, maybe not. Um, how much money do you think you dumped on alcohol and drugs? Um, because my dad always relates to money, anything, bro. Smoking, he's like, man, I smoked since this, since I was 14. Up until this time, if, you know, if I would have never picked that up, like, this is probably about how much I spent on cigarettes. Like, to him, he, he you know, he equates yeah. shit like that. Alcohol, the same thing. Like, he, you know, he suffered from alcoholism as well. And, like, he'll relate to that, too. Like, his, yeah. to him, is like, how much he lost based on this habit, you know? Like, he always, I mean, obviously, he's, he's, I'm glad that he's recovered on both. You yeah. know, he doesn't smoke any. And actually, the funny thing is, he quit because the cigarettes went up so high, bro. Like, if not, he probably wouldn't have quit. And he's like, man, these motherfuckers ain't getting this money. Not from me. And yeah. he quit, bro. But he didn't quit because he didn't want to smoke. He quit because yeah. they were too expensive. He's like, Psh, 
Hell no, nah, not no more. And then Cook County tax. Yeah, cold turkey, bro. Because of that, so that's, that's how he. Equi- that's how much you know what I mean. Like he, when he brings up any type of uh, situation like that, like cigarettes, like I said, he uh, he's kind of man. This is how much I spent a year on cigarettes. This is how much I would have spent in my lifetime since I started smoking. But like for you, nah. like have you ever thought about like how much money you lost? Based on drugs and alcohol, or like how much you invested into it, just from the short amount of time that you were was it, addicted. I, something I didn't mention either, uh, where I got two DUIs when I was 21, 23, because of the alcohol, you know, and that yeah. was more. That's 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 that was money. At least I don't know how it is, how much it is now, but I get at least seven thousand each, mm-hmm. you know, and just just. But like you go like come on, when I our gigs that I tocaba eran más private, so the alcohol. Was free. The, it was free, you know. Okay. That what was about the drugs. Though? The drugs, see, because that's never free, right? Mm. No. I, he said, mm-hmm. that's "No." All. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, ¿Cómo el de Scooby Doo? <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero I, I, that's funny as hell. Cocaine is not a, a cheap drug. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go, shit. Shit. No, this guy, I thought this guy was going to do that uh, Dave Chappelle Coke is one hell of a drug <laughs> <laughs> No, but Coke is not it's You not, almost made me choke, bro I was like, oh, shit, that's it No, but it's, see, it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's an expensive drug and it, you, you, I think it's one of the most expensive drugs, actually For for what you get, no But it, it's always I know I know. I spend a lot of money More, more on the, the, the drugs Because the, the beer... But you never thought about, like, you never sat back down and been like, damn, dude, since this time to this time, I probably spent about 20000 or 15000 whatever. I mean, because it does add up, bro. 50 or a 100 sack or eight ball. I mean, if you're doing this week every week, I mean, it adds up to serious money. In the beginning, it was more like, it was to get drunk. I wouldn't buy them big quantities, but see, it's expensive. Right. Uh, I mean, it, think about it. I mean, just a 50 sack, bro. And like, what does that last you, really? You know, I've, I mean, I've seen it on Narcos, you know? <laughs> cuando, 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 <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh, just they ain't got no 50 sacks on Narcos, man. Stop lying, bro. I want por kilos. <laughs> well, whatever. The little guy was selling them for 50. No, he wasn't. Nah. <laughs> no, I, that's funny. I, I, yeah, towards the end, see, I was buying more bigger quantities, you know, just to have it around and... Because I was trying, uh, trying not to drive places. Uh, mejor just have it all and then just. Así nomás tenerla, pues. Pero, digo, el DUI, that's at least 14. Uh, uh, los court f- cases, the, the, every time I went to court, the lawyer, uh, the. F- oh, you gotta pay un chingo de dinero at the end of the, when you finish your DUIs. So there, I remember times where llegaba el, el one time que llegó en mi cheque de Lincoln Tax and it went straight to. And you to didn't there. feel any type of way, like I was like, fuck, you know. But I was making good money playing and working. Que como que no, it, it, it wasn't that big of a consequence, you know. The, uh, what did you think? What do you think you needed to in order to wake up? Yeah, I just thought I could quit any moment. You no, know? and that, like, that that's the biggest problem. Que mucha gente they think they could stop with, with, with anything, whatever addiction it is, drugs, alcohol, or whatever, food, or... Uh, kind of whatever, cosas, yeah. yeah. Uh, in, uh, there was times que si, si paraba, que uh, there was time, months que I would drink casually, but no, like, during those heavy times. Porque si, había ups and downs where I would drink a lot, drink a little. Yo, what would trigger that, though? Um, since you are bringing that up, the fact that you had times where you were just heavily drinking what triggered stuff like that well, well now looking back uh i could actually like i went back and uh, doing my my steps uh my first one you could have uh, i had a, a relationship that I, I i was very selfish in and i thought i had that person like i was that person was never gonna go leave me pues and uh Estaba muy seguro yo de mí in that relationship and at that moment. And when that relationship ended because of the drinking and, and just being selfish, como que me dolió. I, I was like, como bitter about it. I was like, well, fuck that. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go party and then I'm not going to have no relationships. See, I just concentrated on partying. I look at it. At just, what age is that? Uh, probably 21, 22. Just around that same time, I got my first DUI. So you were heartbroken, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. so... He tried to say bitter and all that. Heartbroken is the right... 
Lo que, yeah, pues sí. No, I, 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 no I, I, va a llorar I, ahorita, compadre. I, I, cover, I, cover, I cover it up by drinking, you know? Right. So you masquerade things with, with you masquerade your fear and your whatever. The, my fear was like, well, nobody's gonna f me over, you know. And, and so I just drank, you know, and I and I put a bandaid over a problem that I had, and then I never dealt with it, you know. So that that carried on. There was the luggage that I was adding on to problems I already had, you know. I had my DUI, I had that. Uh, so DUI happens, the girl you were in love with leaves you. Yeah, and like you just lean heavier on the alcohol yeah, and, and drugs. Yeah, yeah, and then the ones that started the problem. Yeah, there was, there were, yeah. Luego ya en en my in my twenties, pues, like up to like twenty seven. Mm -hmm. It was just the same cycle over over, like just partying, getting fucked up. Uh, I think uh, but at this point you're abusing for sure. Like, sí, the but, abuse but, is heavy. Porque ya yeah, there was times where llegaba to play and I said no, I couldn't go back home because I was drunk and then uh, no, no me querían llevar or whatever and I had to get a taxi or call. A and where your remember. episodes were getting worse too, like your blackouts and your acting yeah, wild, was that getting worse there too? There was times where like llegaba and uh, me enojaba, like maybe I had algo pasaría and something triggered me y, y, Tiraba algo en la, en la casa, or I would slam a door, break the hinges. Uh, At your own house? Sí, like there's still other things that I couldn't, can't remember specifically, but I, I know there's stuff where like, my mom would tell me, or you know, my dad, like, hey, <clears throat> ¿qué traigo esa noche? Ya, bájale poquito tu alcohol, you know? And, and you, I, at that time, I was like, oh, fuck, you know, like, pero, como, se, se pasa eso, and again, se guía el cycle. And that's the problem with, with alcoholism, que, If something bad happens to you, you just need time to forget a little bit of it, and then you remember the the drinking. You're like, oh shit! You know, when, no, fuck it, let me go back. See, it's like you black that out, and you ya sigue otra vez, and ya uh, cuando sería when my I think after I got married, I was when I got married at 28, so yeah, I, was, I had been drinking, partying, I got married. I had my own place. Uh, como que me dio libertad a mí, you know, like to, because I no, you didn't feel like you had enough freedom at home. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, no, I, I, I was like I wanted to. Pues, I, I was more liberated person as a person. Pues, I, I was my own person now. You know, I had my own place. Uh, I, uh, you were responsible, pues, for your yeah, own thing. Like yeah. you didn't have to worry about being home or whatever. My my wife se iba a trabajar. Yo llegaba temprano que ella. Me echaba una dos cervezas, and it was just that. And then, como que I took advantage of the, that, that freedom too, you know, porque a veces llegaba tarde, yo llegaba temprano de work, y me echaba una, dos, tres cervezas, y estaba picado. Uh, en la noche se dormía, yo tenía un stash de, de un seis o de un doce, y me tomaba una, and then I would stop drinking. And then, at, this, at this point, you, you mean stash, you mean that they weren't in the fridge, they were había, hidden? Habían unas en el fridge, y luego <coughs> tenía otras de atrás de maybe un... un un una, una puerta en, en, el, en el kitchen. ¿no? She didn't know about that. Y la escondía para que ya cuando se durmiera, no se acaba. Me tomaba las que tiene en el fridge, pero ya sabía que tenía acá otras. Like, you, need, you knew you were going to need more yeah. to feel what you wanted sí, to feel. Y, y luego, I, I, pues ya at that time, ya yeah, I was buying uh, larger amounts of, of coke. So, ya, yeah, if you drink and you do that, como que te picas más. It's, it's, it's harder to just have one beer and uh, just stop, you know, and go to sleep. So, yeah, I took one, I was like, one more, one more, and I went for another. And you know, I was always, it was a cycle in my head, and I was like, one more, or just this one, just this one, and I went to sleep. And I went to sleep at 12, and I And then, the next day, I was like, yeah, so it was literally, it was, <coughs> the problem that I had in my 20s playing, it was one thing, and then it became a bigger issue once I got married, because ya yeah, I was starting to hide things around more. So I, my, I would uh, have to work. Me iba y me compraba unas botitas de Fireball so I could drink them on the way in my car, you know? Like, me las escondía, no tomaba. Las echaba por la, por la ventana on the way home. Uh, it, it was just, it was a gradual increase that I was losing control porque I was, I was letting it be okay for me to, to do what I was doing, you know? Like, I deserve to drink because I had a long day of work. Uh, it's hot today. I, need, I deserve something. Todo era una excuse, you know. Llegaba a la casa and there was a baseball game or había algo. 
I want to I want to have a beer. Uh, íbamos a comer a los restaurants. We would go to Buffalo, ¿por qué? Because it's still beer. Uh, whatever, whatever place that had beer, that was the, the, that was the spot. The, that was the spot to go because I, that was an excuse to go drink, you know. And then, and at any point, was your wife kind of like, what are you doing, bro? Like, estás pasando. Uh, pues, there was one time, okay, in, in, in the first probably month that we moved into our first, first place, que me emborraché and I don't know what I did. I broke something in, in the in the bathroom. He, she woke up and that way like staggering and he me acostó. Yo creo me acostó porque I don't remember nothing. In the next in the again. next day, me dijo, <clears throat> you got drunk last night. Pero she's like, okay, maybe it was just uh, a one time off. thing. Yeah. And then it happened again like two three weeks later, where it's like it's two times you gotten drunk in the first month. And I was like. Like you were just gone, gone. Yeah, and she and, and she had never seen this side of me when we were dating, you know, like because you were hiding it. Yeah, we would go on days. You want to comer on the beyond places to to drink. I mean, we both drank together, you know, at the time. Pero yo yo me iba a la casa y me compraba un un doce, you know. And at all time, I mesa tenía like en la casa tenía la bolsa ready for me, you know. Y pues eso. It was something too okay, I was hiding, you know. I didn't want her to see that, you know. I don't want her to be like, oh, my boyfriend is uh, drunk, you know. Uh, so, and fast forwarding, bro, to, so it graduated to, you know, abusive, abuse of alcohol, abuse of coke. What happens after that? You get into a program. What What is the message you want to deliver to the people today? Um, okay, so... She's the one that initiated, you know, porque she started seeing problems. Uh, she would talk to my mom, hey, que José hace esto. And my mom would, like, relate to what I was doing when I was living with my parents. So they were connecting dots. And, like, pues sí, él, and my mom would, ya le decía, like, hey, pues José sí se pone bien, bien borracho de en la casa. And then she's like, pues, yeah, he's doing that. And they were starting to look for places for me to get help. Y encontró un lugar en Addison, se llamaba Serenity House, ahí tienen Halfway House and Aftercare Program. Y fui, pero it was more like how to how to stop drinking, but there was no program to it. It was just like what are your triggers? How can you prevent triggers? Me no me gustó. I was like, I don't think I need it anymore. I'm okay. Uh, pasó un año, and then I would ese año I did my mi borrachera que hacía mis episodes here and there. Uh, and then towards the end of that year, I tried it again. But to go to a help. Yeah, but on the lado, because I was like, I got on group, maybe I need somebody more personal. I did it uh, a month. I was like, no, nah, I don't like this either. I mean, what, was this the alcoholism talking though? Like yeah. You it, just didn't want to do it, right? You yeah. weren't ready. It was an excuse. I was like, no, I didn't like the group. I didn't like the personal. Uh, I think I'm okay. I started, I mean, otra vez, siguiendo the same thing, the same pattern I was doing. Uh, and then to, I think it was 2018, to were, like November, yeah, they finally told me, they were like fed up. Me dijo, your family and your, my, 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 your wife? My wife, uh, I don't know about my, my in-laws, but it was more on my, my mom's side, my parents, was, que they're like, you need to get help. My dad, I work with my dad, and he said, yeah, I'm not gonna give you work, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with you. And my wife's like, need to get help or we're going to be done. You know, it's, it's va a ser el final. Was it like an intervention or was it like individually your eh, mom came it, to it you? It was individually. And... Así que, <clears throat> que cuando me agarraba solo, ella me decía, okay, we have to make you este lugar. We found a place for you. I was like, oh shit. And so they found this place and in noviembre, but no podía entrar lo luego porque había, it's hard to get in through the insurance and stuff. I see it very difficult to get in. Oh, this shit ain't free? You, you pay for it, but oh, since uh, my insurance covers it, uh, then I had, to, I had to wait. Okay. So, yeah, eso fue noviembre, so I waited todo diciembre, and I knew I was going to go in sometime at the end of December. They kind of gave you a date, like, this is when yeah. we were going to be. So, yeah, out. that month of December, I was like, whatever, I don't know, I'm going to, this is going to be my, my last hour of drinking. So, uh, ahí es cuando sí perdí el control. I, I, I didn't care about anything. I was like very selfish. No iba a la casa, me quedaba my parents just to drink, or me agarré un hotel, me quedaba ahí yo solo. 
just to drink. Jesus Christ, bro. In, in, in the, the saddest part about this is that you drink it by yourself, bro. Yeah. And, and no, oh, I can't do that, bro. I could, yeah. So, yeah, then pasó todo. Uh, llegó, I think, after around, around this time, I think me, 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 we went to this place called Sharon in Hoffman Estate. Yeah, it was to, it was a 20 day program. First, you got to go detox. We, I think, como el 29, casi el dos años from today. Uh, so I did the detox. We had a plan to go to Wisconsin for something to, with my suegros and my, my wife and my son. Y, so I did the detox. And I was like, hey, I got, for the week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on vacation for a little bit. I'm going to come back. I'm like, no, if you go, you got to do this all over again. And then the 28 days. Yo, and you, when you say you detox, bro, did you feel anything while you detox? Like, did your body fucking have a certain reaction no, or like, nah, like... I, ne I never, I was never a person that shakes because I think when they drink heavily and then they they just, they tremble. They they, they can't well, you function. you didn't feel any of this? No, like, you, you just went to the detox and you were fine. Like, it was, I, I, you didn't feel anything? I, said, uh, I stayed in, 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 detox, in the rehab place for three days just to sober up. Yeah, when they saw that I was más o menos, they said, okay, you're, you're ready to go to the to the program, pues ya start the 28 days. Ya le dije a mi wife, le dije, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna get help for myself, you know, porque antes, con the other places, uh, yo iba porque ella me decía. Yeah, like I was, I've heard I, that before, where you, you gotta be ready to let yeah, go of the, yeah. you know, you know, the... I wasn't ready for nothing. I was just, just to get off, my, get her off my back, you know, it sounds bad, but uh, that's the mentality of somebody that has alcoholism. Uh, no, I mean that's the mentality of anybody that's married, bro. Like, <laughs> like yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. I'll take out the garbage, you know. <laughs> no, for me, I was like, okay, I'll go. <laughs> also, yeah, yeah. Le dije, uh, I was in the program. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, they had their own. They have counselors. They teach you stuff. But the main thing, era ir, they had meetings. Alcohol anonymous. Yeah, alcoholic anonymous meetings. Uh, cuando iba gente que ya estaba sober, young people, old people, y ahí es cuando uh, I was introduced to AA, you know, y ese es un programa, a 12-step program where they teach you, or they're, they're, they call them suggestions, you know, you could do whatever you want, if you don't do, you don't do what they suggest, you're not going to recover, you're not going to, uh, but you never beat alcoholism, you just, you got to, it's a common treatment. You just, you, and you yeah. feel that that's how it is? Yeah, but cuando, cuando I was in there, it was hard to understand because it was a lot of reading. I was, I had since high school since I read anything in a book, you know. So it was a lot of reading, writing, and then a lot of group talk. And Emotionally, then, where were you at this point? Like in the beginning, I was like, I, I gave, I gave in, I gave up. I was like, I don't have, I have, I, I felt like being in, in rehab was my lowest point. You know, even though I had done so many fucked up shit in my past, but being in there because. Ya sabían, you knew, que, no, like, ya, ya, ustedes ya sabían que I was there, like, my suegros knew I was in there, uh, her brother knew I was in there, you know. Like, at this point, you felt, like, shame, ashamed yeah, or some I, shit? Yeah, I was like, oh, you know, and then, yeah, cuando she had told me, you know, that que les había dicho que, okay, Jose is in rehab porque tiene un alcohol problem, uh, I'm pretty sure it was new to them, but maybe in the back of their mind, they knew que it wasn't Honestly, right. I didn't know that you had an issue, bro, yeah. like. I mean, until they brought it up to my mm -hmm. attention, like you hit it pretty well to me. You know, yeah. like I, I mean, I would see you every weekend, and I'm pretty yeah. sure if you were going through shit, like you were drunk, you know, when I would see you, no. or you were tipsy, uh, or something. No, I, I would control. I wouldn't drink around the family. It was more like in my home and in my parents' home and in private. You know, the condo. Like you were definitely a loner, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, you, I, no, I, but we would drink though. But I just never knew that you had a problem. Porque, uh, uh, because I, we would hang out on Sundays and we definitely had beers. Sí, me, me echaba las mías, pero yo, <laughs> He's like, pero, I don't kill mine, for sure. Si ustedes tenían sus cervezas y se acababan en el first round, I was like, bro, in my head, I was like, I want another one already. Oh, yeah, I didn't think like that. Or, but I didn't, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, I didn't see it. Like, I didn't know you had a problem. You know what I mean? Like, until they brought it up to my attention, then, then all right, you know, but... No, but uh, yeah, yeah, pues, I, in rehab, yeah, like, halfway through it, Things started clicking about the the sto the twelve step program. Que I started getting it, and I was ya me estaba preparando para cuando saliera. Uh, I ya sabía lo que iba lo que iba a ir a hacer. You know, like to go my to my meetings. You know, I mean, yeah. 
Y sí, pues ya I was, ya I was preparing. Um, salí after the 28 days and the treatment plus the three the detox. And from the first day, I forgot what day it was. It was right before your birthday in February, I think. Uh, salí y fui a 90 meetings, 90 days. Me agarré un sponsor para que me... Somebody, somebody that went through the 12, step pro, 12 steps de AA para que me guiara going through the, step, uh, yeah, the steps de AA. Uh, <clears throat> you know, like every month. It was, it was monthly for me because you, know, you get rewarded. In, in AA bus, you complete a month. Te dan una... Te dan una uh, a a month, month calling, yeah. Y they started adding up. Uh, I was I was doing the right thing. I was going to work. Uh, I was paying them on my bills because I was in debt a lot. Uh, my wife started seeing a difference. Uh, my parents started seeing a difference. También, uh, I was changing my lifestyle. I was eating different. I was on a diet. I weighed like 230 when I entered rehab. When I got out of rehab, I was probably like 10 pounds lighter. Uh, and I, I continued that. So my... my Your journey. My Yeah, todo, that, that journey of... Staying sober and clean, plus being health, healthier, was something that was going hand in hand. So every month I was losing 10 pounds, 10 pounds. Uh, and I, I was heading another month to my month that I had. Uh, you go by, by June, July, I had lost like 30, 30 50 pounds. And I don't know how much, but I lost a lot of weight. I was, I was feeling better physically. Uh, when you drink, you're bloated. I was very bloated. Yellow, Mrs. Thiessen. I look better. To me, I look. I, I had a confidence that I I, didn't, I wasn't getting from drinking, uh, and everybody noticed it. You know, like la familia, and uh, it was it was something that that I, I wanted to keep doing. It wasn't that something que era temporary. So yeah, fast forward another six months, cumplí mi año. I got my my one year chip, and you know, like todavía it's the same motivation. Uh, The, the whole year, it was just put us accomplishments, but to somebody that has what I have, alcoholism, it's, 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 a, it's a bigger accomplishment than somebody that doesn't know like, that problem, because like, you, you could stop drinking today and, like, for six months, and like, I did it for six months, and, you know, but for me, that, that, it was something that I had a, had a it, it was maintenance drinking towards them, because yeah, now I'm way... But I mean, I feel like the, the whole addiction part is the, the The big thing, you know what I mean? And I always tell my wife, like, man, I, I'm grateful. I thank God every day that I don't have an addiction to anything. You know what I mean? Because it would be, that is the difficult part. You know, accepting that you have an addiction and then figuring out how to fix it or control it. That's the, the most difficult part, you know? Yeah, no, but you know, tenia, there, there was no control. Uh, right. It, I mean, it, that's it, the it, whole it, part. It, that it, is it, the addiction. It, it controlled you know? me. And uh, like, I had my, alcohol was number one priority. Luego ya la familia and then my work, you know, like my work, I worked to go drink, you know, and it was... To make sure you were ha you had yeah, enough to, to go to, get yeah. it. Yeah, so that's, that's, the, that's the messed up about drinking, que mucha gente toma when they're in their early 20s y pistean y andan acá y allá y they live in the moment, you know, and no saben que, que it could become a problem, a chronic, chronic problem in the, in the future. Mucha gente, they get older and... Se van por otro lado and they want to be work and get a good job and set up their future have, to buy a house, a car, have a family. Yo le seguí and I was just like, how come you guys don't want to party with me? You know, so si no quería nadie and it was just by myself, you know. It, it was something that, that I didn't, no, no había, there was no remorse, you know. I was like, I'm just going to do Whatever it. comes, yeah. comes. Well, I think it's because like there's not a that big of a consequence that has happened for you. That's why you probably kept on going. And I, like I said, for myself, I've had stuff happen in my life where it's like, all right, this is it. You know what I mean? I've also got a DUI, you know? And for me, I, I mean, I, obviously, you guys have seen the podcast. I still drink, but I'm not drinking every day. I think I'm drinking more now because of the podcast. Yeah, me too, man. More, Actually, yeah, it's good because of the podcast. That's, that's, podcast. That's, that's, <laughs> say we're Blame it on Compass and Filter. <laughs> um, no, that is true, though. To be honest, like I don't really drink like that at home. No. Um, I have beers at home all the time, but I'm, I have them in the fridge. I don't, But I don't have the urge to go grab one. You know what I mean? Like, right. If somebody comes over to my house and, and I'm, you know, they want to have a beer, I'll join them for a beer or, you know, whatever. But, yeah, like 
typically a game comes on or whatever. I don't like drinking by myself. Um, like, that's just me. Like how you, you said, like I mean? my addictive personality. personality. If we had people over and they brought beer and they left and the beer was there, that beer was going to be done, finished that night yeah, or, like to, or tomorrow. Had, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I understand the addiction part is that, you know, like, I'm so grateful not to have any addiction to anything because I, I could just imagine not being able to control yourself, dude, to do anything for whatever you're addicted to. I mean, that has to be crazy difficult, you know? On the person that's addicted and on, like, for your partner, yeah. bro, like, yeah, I mean, that was crazy. You Look, know what I mean? Now that I, like, that I'm where I'm at now, like, I think, like, you know, like, I wasted, like, my 20s drinking and I never saved up and or that I still have my, my same car that I had when I was, when I got it at 19 or 20, you know, and that car reflects me, you know, Tato, ahorita está todo espintado, está rusty, you know, Tato. Like that, you equate that to your, and, what you and did. And that, that's things. like, yeah, my car is like what my life was at that moment. Which is kind of funny that you say that, bro, because my car is fucking looks the same as yours, but, I have, and I fucking wasted my 20s too. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> trust me, I didn't save any money in my 20s, bro. And I can call Pacheco, I was hanging out with this jerk. We were, we're wasting, both spending money. He was making me we spend money. We were wasting our 20s away, dude. No, pero, but yeah, I mean, for sure, it's it's serious, man. So, what is your message to the people, bro? Um, what do you if if they are gonna take anything away from this podcast episode about drug addiction, about alcohol abuse, um, or about addiction in general? What do you want to tell well, the people? One thing is, don't be ashamed. You know, guys usually come okay, they're oh my man. You know, I could do my I could. If I have a problem, I'll deal with it myself. I don't need nobody's help. and Or they'll hide that they have a problem because they don't want uh, their friends to meet and hey, que este way anda. No, anda otro lado. No, he's not like us. Mm -hmm. And that was for me, you know. Like, me, da, me daba vergüenza que to admit I had a problem. Like, I'd rather you not see me and hide my problem than. So, there's there's people, there's a lot of people that they have a drinking problem, que, like closet drinkers, que. que they know they have a problem, but they don't admit it. And I, I, if somebody knows somebody, un tío, un hermano, or they themselves, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous, Anonymous is anonymous for a reason, you know, like, there's an app where you could find meetings. Uh, what's, what's the app called? Se llama so. Meeting Guide. I think it's on Apple, Apple and Android. And you'll, and you'll throw a link up on there? Yeah. I'll, if right. I, yeah. yeah I, if I, he finds it, we'll throw a link up on for people that, that may need help with yeah. that. And, or if you need, like, for me, I needed to be locked up, not in jail, but like in, in rehab for me to stop drinking and actually learn something so, while I was sober. Porque, uh, see, uh, if what you I, didn't give yourself the opportunity, you wouldn't I, have recovered. If I went to a meeting, I, no hubiera aprendido, I wouldn't have been willing to commit. You, know, you needed was, the time. Yeah. He, so... There, you might not be a daily drinker, but even if you drink heavily on the weekend, and it affects, it has, it has to affect somehow. If it affects somebody close to you, that's a problem. If it affects your work, it's a problem. Okay. There's a lot of things financial, but not for it, you. It, you didn't even remember how much you spent. <laughs> He's I, like, I, no, I that know. wasn't an issue, bro. That I was buying. Big no, no, quantities, small quantities. We'll talk that about off off the air, bro. I, I gotta yeah, make I wanna get, yeah, I, I, we got to get a number on that. Just to get, I, I want to know. A hundred like, thousand. Like, <laughs> hundred <laughs> k. Like well, damn, bro. Maybe, close to fifty thousand. You could maybe I'll pay Jeez. even more. Damn. Yeah. No, pero si también whoever que ponga checo ahí en la on the link uh, my page así the Facebook and they could message me and I could tell them like. I could guide on where to go, you know, for sure. you got to be ready to stop drinking. You have a problem. Uh, That's one of the biggest things I hear, bro. Like if, if you're not ready, um, yeah. no matter what, you know, happens, people tell you like you have to want it, you know, like you have to, and I'm not saying you have to hit rock bottom, but you have to know deep inside that, Hey, I want to stop drinking in order for you to be able to get help. Because I, I feel like if you don't want to stop drinking, it doesn't matter what happens, bro. Like, somebody can die close to you, you know, your yeah. relative, your mom, your dad. And if you don't care, you don't want to stop drinking, bro, you're not going to stop. You know, like, you got to want that, you know? Yeah. Um, but, but, yeah, it, for sure. We'll be uh, linking stuff. Yeah. But, the one more thing. Uh, if, it, I mean, it's okay if you try multiple times to get to clean and sober up, you know, because mm -hmm. it's not a, a one-time thing. Yeah, because yo, yeah, 
I would have at the end of the month. I would have had two years, porque, but I, I had a, a little relapse in the summer. Uh, pero you know, like it was hard to like to accept that I drank porque I was so focused and and not not drinking anymore, and that happened. But like I'm I'm in a good place, you know. I have a higher power. Uh, I'm not like religious, but I have somebody that I believe. I'm more spiritual. Uh, y eso a mí me ha cambiado mucho uh, my personality uh, uh, just it's more I have more serenity in my life than before uh, I could accept things uh, problemas I know how to deal with them before I would just run away and turn into alcohol so there's a lot of things where once you get sober uh, it's you'll, you're not going to get your old life back you're going to get a new life because it's a beginning you don't want to go back to Before you were drinking, right? Because you yeah. gotta. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, get a message from. Uh, que ponga checo en el messenger y me. So, so, me, me so we'll put the compadre social media on there. We'll link if anybody does need help um, with any type of addiction or you know alcohol abuse or whatever. Uh, you could definitely reach out. We'll be trying to link whatever uh, links we find. Uh, the app that he just mentioned yeah. for uh, AA for meetings. You know. Uh, if you guys need to, to find a, a location and get some help there, um, don't forget about his message. Also, if you feel like you're one of the people that n that needs to be, um, what, it's not locked up. What is it no, called? It's some rehab. Like a rehab, rehab place where you actually stay for days um, to detox and they help you, you know, with the, with the process. Hey, man, for some people that might be uh, more helpful. But it, it might be expensive, but if you have good insurance, you most likely it's going to be covered. Right. Behavioral right. therapy reason. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, definitely. And, well, thank you, bro, for coming on and sharing, you know, everything yeah. that you did share about uh, your experience yeah. with, with alcoholism and, and, and drugs and whatnot. Um, and it, you know what? And I hate to bring it up, right? Because we always what? talk about COVID and shit. Oh, But it, it's just, it's, it's increased, bro. You well, got nowhere to go. News, bro. Pe people are staying home drinking. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's a... Especially like we said with the mental thing that we've, we've talked about in the other episodes or whatever. Hell yeah! So that's definitely has increased. I'm pretty sure. You know what I mean? We only did a podcast, bro, and it increased for us. So <laughs> I can imagine for with COVID. Happened? But I mean, if we could just turn the camera to the fridge, <laughs> so people can. <laughs> no. Okay, <laughs> Hey, today our sponsor is Ice Mountain. No, they're not. They're not really But. sponsors. Pero <laughs> si quieren hidratarnos, mándenos aguitas. Oh yeah, down. <laughs> Wrap it up, compa. That's it, brother. Um, like I said, th thank you again, bro, for coming on. I just want to shout share. out to my my wife, and my son, because without them, it was this wouldn't have been possible uh, for me to get sober. You know, I, uh, God put her in my life for a reason. You know, and for me is for her to. That wasn't it, a punishment. Gave me, gave me a help. No, no <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. No edit. <laughs> no edit. I was just checking, comadre. I was just checking. I was. You saw his face reaction, right? We captured no. it. Nah, I'm just playing. Nah, for sure. Shout out. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for coming on the podcast, bro. Sharing. Uh, super proud of you, bro, with your your accomplishments. Not only with you know kicking the the habits, but also like you said, your your weight loss. You're eating healthy. Um, you're working out, running, bro. That shit is motivating to me. Um, so no, super proud of you, bro. Siga le echando ganas a, a la vida, bro. And, and we're here, bro. Compa some filters yeah, si, supporting you, brother. Si alguien me conoce and they know if I could do it, they could do it, you know. Because so I wasn't a good person. <laughs> hey, <si no>. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, man. Everybody that, that, uh, that knows the compadre, hey, send them a message, positive vibes, bro. Y'all already know what's up. And if y'all need help, hit them up as well. All Anything? the links. That's it. Check out the links. You already know. Compass on filter. We out. Peace. Peace.